offshore winds is the particular one here. Yesterday we had an incident with two young kids on paddle boards. First off, they went, we had a no inflatable sign out here on the beach that we put up on offshore breeze days. They went out on um, two, uh, an inflatable crocodile first. They didn't succeed in getting blown out on that. Um, then they chose a couple of paddle boards that were clearly from the middle of a supermarket. And within five minutes, they're three, four hundred metres out. Um, we're having you know, the parents are coming up worried and we have to go out and, and bring them in, you know, and it's just... It was parental stupidity is what it was down to, you know, and, and, and lack of knowledge of what they were doing stood on the boards back to front. No buoyancy aids, no PP, you know, no phones, a couple of kids, nine, ten years old. So it's, it's education all the way through buoyancy aid, leash, telephone, let people know where you're going, avoid offshore winds. Check with people like us, you know, there's centres all over the country, you know, maybe just, look, just, you know, just check in with one of the centres and just say, would you, you know, we didn't rent any paddle boards yesterday because of the wind. And yet I have to go and rescue two guys who were out there because of the wind. People sometimes don't treat their paddleboard as an inflatable, you know, they, it is inflatable, it, does, it, it is subject to the wind more than a rigid board, so you've got to be very, very careful with an inflatable board in an offshore wind. And obviously we undertake a risk management, ours is a rolling risk management, risk assessment and, and, and literally is very dynamic. These people are just heading hit into the water, you know, 15, 20 mile an hour offshore winds, you know. There was an incident on Friday where, again, we weren't, we weren't open at all because of the wind. Girl on a paddleboard with her boyfriend, I'm assuming boyfriend, managed to make it to the rocks over there and they came back ashore. But you know, only I think it was only the boyfriend's intervention that got them to the rocks. Other than that, it's straight out. And people don't realize how quickly things go wrong, you must see it all the oh, time. Oh, it escalates from being in maybe waist deep water to being 300 meters out can, on a, in, a, in 20, 30 mile an hour winds can happen in 20 seconds, 30 seconds, you know, under a minute and people are in trouble. You know, we, we, we realise they're in trouble before they do. Obviously, I've been here 16 years and seen pretty much every eventuality. We generally work out that they're in trouble before they do because it's such as their lack of knowledge of the, the open water. 